time. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. It's going to be unbelievable. The fans, everybody around the world, the fighters. This is just one of those things. It's time for our tale of the tape. It is Joe Joyce, the juggernaut. A massive 80 inch reach, six foot. And here is the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. Fights out of London, the United Kingdom. He is an intimidating specimen. From the United Kingdom. Wow, someone's been really generous here, giving away a lot of weight. So now let's go into the ring for the official introductions. Here's the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from London, England, and standing at six feet six inches, here is a British Commonwealth International and European heavyweight champion, the juggernaut, Joe Joyce. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Pull the door, pull the curtains. This is it. Let me enjoy myself right now. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Joe Joyce always swinging for the fences. That punch is beginning to take its toll. He created the opening, landed the punch, and he's in trouble again. Gonna try to relax a little bit now. Fight a little differently. a sunny and hot day and no we're not inside no air conditioning or air con as they say in the uk if you are on the losing side of this fight tonight and the heat is on it's the worst place to be so you've got to make sure you prepped right for this and right now i'm looking to fight that doesn't look like they're prepped right halfway through the round and man these two are going at it a very close match it shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. He's going to shake out the arms and legs and move around a little bit. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Nice counter punch right up the middle. Bad as boxing judging can be sometimes, there's no doubt who won that one. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter and the tournament for the, for the fight. Joe Joyce, an Olympic silver medalist, coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Looks like a little bit of a strategy change here, loosening up the technique. This fighter told us yesterday, I don't get paid by the minute. I'm going to go in there and try and knock my opponent out as soon as possible. How you deal with a slugger, you've got to use brain over brawn. Ball in a matador, pop, jab, move, get them angry. This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. Skill for skill, tap for tap, just like a match made in heaven. Hook doesn't land. Here he is bouncing on his toes, trying to get some energy. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Pretty 
pretty dominant round there. Let's see how they respond here in the next round. Dominance without a doubt makes it so, so easy. round complete domination let's see what we have in store for us here Todd my motto is if it's not broken why change it an excellent last round everything worked wait for the reaction until then keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down he's gonna loosen things up here let's see how he does with this fancy footwork This counterfighter believes in the anything you can do, I can do better. They'll let you throw a punch first, and they'll answer you and usually hit you harder. To beat a counterpuncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop you all night long. Rush them. Tough to be a judge in this fight, as both fighters have had their big moments. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. And he scores with the counter. Not so tense anymore. Trying to loosen things up. I like it. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on this fight because if they haven't, there's going to be absolute uproar. They ring the bell and here we go. Coming off that great round, let's see if they can build on momentum here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won it, I'm down. So he's going to drop his arms down here. Not sure that's the wisest decision. Beautiful counter punch. We know who has the power advantage, and we also know who has the speed advantage. There's an old saying, a good figure will always be a good weapon. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. They both want a knockout, you can tell. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. So he's going to shake off the cobwebs and bounce around the ring a little bit here. Now I'm going to get a little more loosey-goosey. Let's see how this one feels. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. There's a counter shot. I promise you, all three judges here are going to give that round to you know who. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. So here we go, the juggernaut back on display. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fist. Another scoring shot there. We're at the halfway point of this round, and both of these fighters have had their moments. Still could go either way. Trying to fight like Roy Jones. Oh, my! That's a game changer. The 
just one punch away from getting the momentum back. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back. The referee really, really thinking about stopping it. Knocked down hard. I'm not sure that they're going to be able to get back on their feet here as the referee continues the count. I want to see that again, but from a different angle. You're right, Todd. What a shot. It's not over until it's over, but that knockdown is going to be huge. Can make or break a fighter. So Joyce is one of the highest knockout ratios in the heavyweight division. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'd come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got to hustle, man. He's got to, he's got to block it. Looks like they're going to try and be a little more elusive now. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Middleweight always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you are in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable middleweight. Oh, what a punch! Looks like a little change of strategy here, trying to loosen up the flow a little bit. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. They've got the momentum, they've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope the judges... The juggernaut back in a huge fight again. That last round was huge for him, Johnny. How does he keep the momentum going? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Hey, it's the featherweight division. You're going to see a lot of speed in this fight. This is what you're going to get. You're going to get speed, good footwork. You're going to get punches thrown from head to body. You can get a lot of toe-to-toe. -to -toe. When you've got fighters at these weight divisions, they'll stand there. They don't, they don't need a ring. They need a hold -up. We're at the halfway point, and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs. He's going to go with more footwork now. What do you think of that strategy? A very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Not so rigid anymore with the stance. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And according to... And there's the bell to start the round. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Hey, sometimes the best thing you can do is to grab your opponent. You can't do that too often because the referee is eventually going to start taking points off you. You saw the referee watch, look, didn't say anything, just gestured to say I've checked you. Now be careful because when he starts pulling, taking you out of your rhythm, it's going to get harder. A 
very competitive round here so far. He's dropped the guard now. What do you think of that decision? Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I gotta respect both of them more than happy. Oh, what a punch. Looks like he's gonna move around the ring. You know the scorecards are gonna be all over the place in this one. After what we saw in that last round, it's pretty obvious who has the advantage. Joe Joyce, an Olympic medalist. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. A perfect counter shot. It's always fascinating to watch two good welterweights because they've got blurry hand speed and good power. Guys that carry so much power, of course they're going to look for that knockout because it makes a night a little bit shorter. You don't get paid any extra for overtime. A perfect counter shot. Neither one of them wants this to go to the judges' scorecard. Looks like they're going to mix up their strategy a little bit here. going to loosen things up here. Let's see how he does with this fancy footwork. Here comes the London, England native, Joe Joyce. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Well, there was no doubt about who won that round. Dominant. Joe Joyce was one of the highest knockout ratios in the heavyweight division. This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. That counter shot lands. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. You've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drama, because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to land. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. He's dropped the guard now. What do you think of that decision? hook thrown but it doesn't connect now gonna get a little more loosey-goosey let's see how this one very close round with 10 seconds to go from this moment forward he cannot Joe Joyce always swinging for the fences. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Johnny, you know, in the lightweight division, they've got fast hands, so get ready to see some lightning. The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight, it's the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and 
you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got base. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. Do you know the amazing fights at middleweight are oh, ridiculous? That is what writes our history books. Continues to touch him up. A perfect counter shot. Good one. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. so far, but how does this match? They ring the bell, and here we go. Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing, because you've won that hands down. Well, Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What are you seeing so far? Because they're so big, because they can punch, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire, because someone's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. This is the kind of fight you expect from two world-class elite. You can't do that too often or the referee is going to take a point. They need to be worried that the referee is not going to throw them out of the ring and disqualify them both. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. That jab misses. Got it. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Go back to the drawing board time. A unanimous decision victory. They've done it before. Now they're doing it again. And look what's happened. A unanimous decision. What a way. What tactic. What a game plan. But what a result.